Hello beautiful people, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lexi and in today's video I am going to be setting up my October planner. You guys really seem to love these planner videos and I don't understand why. Maybe it's because I do them live action or real time instead of speeding it up like I do for my bullet journal videos but you guys just love these and you eat them up for some reason. So I am nothing if not a servant of the people and I love to provide. So here I am with yet another planner video. October is definitely significantly busier than months past. I have a lot more recitals to go to. I have concerts, I have tests, projects. The only thing I don't think I have this month is any birthdays that come to mind off the top of my head. I'm sure I'll think of some to write down later, but we will get to that when we get into the calendar portion of this setup. This is my goals and to-do page. It used to be my social media tracker, but I just never used that and it was kind of a pain to set up, so I stopped including it. I might add in something else there later in place of that, but for now I just leave that little big area there blank because I really don't know what to do with it, so any suggestions are more than welcome. But since I do a lot of my planning and such in my bullet journal anyways, I mostly only use this planner for dates and planning out my social media content and such. So I just don't feel the need to use up all the space and it does feel a little bit wasteful, but overall I think it's fine because it's my planner and I can do what I want with it. So my goals are hit 40 subs and hit 100 followers on YouTube and Instagram respectively. So if you do want to help me out with that, you should definitely hit the subscribe button and also check out the link that will be down in the description to follow my Instagram. That would be really cool of you guys. I also have a goal of getting an A on an oral exam, which is my sight singing class basically and I am notoriously bad at it, so I would really like to, on our next exam, get an A because I do work really hard, I'm just not good. I also want to spend less than $300 as much as I can. Now, obviously gas is exorbitant, groceries are super expensive, but I'm going to try to limit my spending as much as possible because I've been spending a lot of money on eating out and all this other stuff that I don't need to be doing. Uh, and then my to-do list is slightly different from my goals in that my goals are things that I really want to achieve and then my to-do list are things that I just need to get done. So I need to get a Halloween costume and that is not going to count towards my spending because I have money set aside for it. And then I also want to take my Instagram photos for the next month. I just put that on the to-do list so I remember because having them all taken when the month begins makes it so much easier on me. So again, check out the Insta to see the product of that. I think they're super fun. I post pictures of my bullet journal and of books. Then here is me setting up the key. I'm just kind of speeding through it because it's the same as every month. The only thing is I took out the marker for tests because I was never writing them down because they're all in my canvas anyway and I just don't feel the need to write them down. I don't, I just took it out. It, I don't need to write it down here. I didn't before. I'm not going to ever probably and honestly next month I'll probably take out the deadline tab too because I did use it this month But only because I felt bad for not taking it out So I put some project deadlines, but because that's all denominated on canvas too I don't really feel the need to put it in my planner. I just did because I had it here So I figured I might as well Going forward, however, that is something I likely will not be doing. Now here I'm again speeding through this part because it's very repetitive, but I am labeling where I put my videos and my Instagram posts. I do go back and fill these out with what the video in the post is going to be about. However, I like to keep the element of surprise alive for you guys, so I don't fill that part out on camera. Also, I usually don't have a plan. <laughs> Just to be honest with you guys, I usually don't have a plan until a couple days later. It takes me a couple of days to fill out that segment. 
but having my videos all planned out for the month definitely makes it a lot easier to stay on track because I don't have to be sitting there a week in advance and thinking, okay, what is my video going to be? Because I already have it written down like a month in advance and I know what it's going to be. I just have to record it and that makes it easier to get videos recorded earlier when I have time as much as I can, which is great because I'm a very, very busy person, especially with college. College is great. I'm having a great time. I'm just extremely busy. My events is probably the one that I use the most other than my posts in this month anyway because I have a lot of events happening. I have two football games which is shockingly less than I thought I had to march at and the first one is going to be a grand time. We get to lose on prime time but at least I don't have to get up at five in the morning. I am so excited for that because usually our call time is 7, which means I have to get up at 5 to catch the bus. Good, good times. And then I do have a bunch of recitals and such to attend as well. I am in a concert of my own, actually, not technically my own, it is symphonic band for our university and that is super fun. I am the principal of that band, so I do have some fun solos, and we are playing a lot of really fun pieces this cycle, so that's super exciting. And then I might be adding more events to this later, not that it concerns you guys because you won't see it, but I am likely going to be doing our civic orchestra, which is the community orchestra not related to the college, but it's still something that I did last semester and it was super fun. It definitely gave me a bunch more opportunities to perform, which is grand because if you were unaware, I am a performance major. That is what I love doing. So I will likely be adding that in later, but that is also one more thing that would be on my plate that I'm not sure if I need. So I haven't decided if I'm gonna move forward with that this semester or not. We shall see. And then the last thing that I had on here was my project deadlines, which I just kind of put on there. Oh, and Halloween. I labeled Halloween. Even though it was already labeled, I relabeled it because I can, because Halloween is important and fun and special, and I am so excited. My costume is going to be so great, so definitely stay updated for that because I might be posting a video about putting together the costume. A lot of it's going to be very DIY, but I have the idea in my head and I'm so excited to kind of bring it to life. I haven't made a costume in a very long time. The last costume I did was kind of just thrown together from things that I had, which was Taco from The Adventure Zone. If I remember, I will put a picture on the screen if I can get it to translate properly. I forgot the actual word there, but it was super fun and I had a great time. And this year, I'm so excited, and don't remember if I've talked about this or not, but I actually live in a neighborhood now that's not like on a college campus or in the middle of nowhere. I have neighbors who have children, so we get to hand out candy and I've never done that in my life because I've always either A, been trick or treating or B, been at home in the middle of nowhere where there's no trick-or-treaters because nobody else lives there. So I get to hand out candy and I'm super duper excited. People will get to see my costume and we're also just gonna have some friends over to watch movies and such as well. It'll be a grand time, but I'm so excited about getting to have trick-or-treaters come to the house and we get to decorate. This is the most fun that I've ever had in my life with Halloween, I think, because I've never gotten to do this. So the joy is coming to me in floods, childhood nostalgia that I, ne I never had. So I don't know what the word for that would actually be, but it's okay. You get the gist. I'm very excited for Halloween and I'm very excited to put my costume together. I won't be sewing anything, I don't think, because I don't think we have a sewing machine and I'm not good at sewing anyway. But I will be DIYing a lot of it, flipping things that I get from thrift stores or putting things together. I did get in colored contacts for it, so that is very exciting and I think it will be great. I do need to order a wig 
But other than that, I'm going to try to either own everything already or be able to DIY it. So there are things that I'll need to get from like thrift stores, like a jacket or a corset, which I'll probably just get from the Halloween store. But I will make them into what I need for the costume. I don't want to order anything pre-made for the costume because that's just not fun. Anyway, I got off on a major tangent there about Halloween. My bad. Don't get me talking about Halloween ever. I will not stop. Then this is my weekly tracker and I will confess I don't really use these much either because like I said I have all of my assignments written down on canvas but sometimes looking at canvas can get a little bit overwhelming for me because it doesn't really know how to separate things from like classes and assignments and tests. My professors kind of just put everything on there and canvas does not give me the option to filter out the type of thing that I'm looking at. So a lot of the time it gets very overwhelming and very hard for me to plan out what I need to get done and when because it's all mushed together like that. So sometimes having it written out like this on paper where I can just have the assignments listed is grand because then I can plan out my week, what I need to get done, when. I try to have everything done a week in advance, but sometimes that doesn't happen because life gets in the way. So having it all written out just makes everything super convenient. I can go back and cross it off when it's done and it's very satisfying. And I just love it. And I love seeing all the colors and seeing how productive I am. It makes me feel good inside. This whole shebang just makes me feel good about myself doing things because I have been notoriously bad at procrastinating and this prevents that from happening. It also gives me a space to write down my events of the week. So work, football games, concerts, rehearsals, things of that nature, gymnastics, all kinds of fun stuff and that way if anything that's not typically in my schedule pops up, having it written down helps me remember that it's there because I am notoriously bad at when things change, I don't process it and then I miss them because I'm not used to the change. So having it written down just really cements it in my brain that, oh hey, I have to do this this week even though I don't normally do it. It's different, but it's there, it's on the schedule, I need to remember to do it. And usually I do if I have it written down because that's how my brain works. And that's mostly the point of this planner is just writing things down so I remember to do them. And then also being able to plan out my videos and such. But that's kind of along the same vein, I guess. Having it written down so I can see it and work on it in advance or having it written down so I don't feel the need to procrastinate because I already know when I have to have it done by and it's on paper. So if I don't, then I'm double bad, I guess. <laughs> it's just an extra layer really of not protection, but insurance, I guess, is a good way to put it of make sure you get this done by this date or you're a terrible person. I bully myself into being productive and it works. So if you need to be productive, just bully yourself by writing things down, I guess. <laughs> I don't actually bully myself. That sounds so terrible. You get what I mean. Just write things down and you'll be more productive. I did mention that briefly in my how to get out of a reading slump video, having things written down in a tracker bullies yourself into doing them because you want to cross them off or whatever you write it down as. It was, yeah, it really works, at least for me, at least in my brain. It's grand and I enjoy greatly not being stressed all the time because I have things done ahead of time and I don't know why I didn't do this sooner. And it definitely isn't a cure-all for it because I still do procrastinate on a lot of things, but I feel more organized at least, which I guess is the main thing, right? That's the goal is to feel organized. And overall, I have been more productive, though I'm not sure if I can accredit that fully to the planner or living with my roommate who is so productive that I feel really bad about myself if I'm not productive because she's being super productive and I'm not. So she kind of also helps me stay on track there a little bit. And I think that might have a little bit more to do with it than the planner because I've definitely tried to plan things in the past, but I think having it written out like this in the planner does help. 
it's just the combination of the two that's making it click this year, I guess. Or maybe it's just the fact that I'm so much busier with other things that having everything done in ahead of time makes it easier for me to do those other things and enjoy them without being stressed about assignments. But here's the fun part of me highlighting everything. It's super great, super fun, and I love how it looks. I really like the combination of the sort of salmon pink and the teal color that I used for Tonal Theory and French. I don't know why, but it's just such a pretty color combo. Anyway, that is going to actually wrap up my planner video, so I do hope you guys have enjoyed this and enjoyed me rambling about Halloween and such. If you did, please be sure to subscribe because I post content like this twice a week. Comment down below because it makes me smile, like the video because it's easy, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye y'all!